Hey, it's Sunday. I hope everybody had a very blessed day. Um, I hope that you praise the Lord and gave him his thanks and glory. Um, <clears throat> so I just had a word on my heart that I wanted to come and share tonight. Um, so uh, a couple of weeks ago, especially last week, I would have to say, <clears throat> the the enemy caught me slipping i wasn't into my word i wasn't reading like i was supposed to um i had forgotten a few prayers not forgotten daily <laughs> just forgotten a couple during the day um i try to pray as often as i possibly can it's just me it's a personal thing um I seek the Lord about most everything to be honest with you I try to seek his advice about uh, any any type of major decision that will affect my life and in that of my family so um, that's just me a personal decision for me but um, the enemy caught me slipping and he started to plant seeds of doubt in my mind and um, and he had me fearing whether or not I was going to be able to provide for my family and he had me fearing whether or not um, I was going to be able to make ends meet and um, you know it, it took me <laughs> it took me uh, some tears and and a bit more stress than I actually needed to have to be able to um, to get through it and um, so I have a couple of scriptures that I just wanted to go ahead and go over for you guys um, that you can refer back to in case you need it. I, I've written them down and, and I will have them handy for the next time something like uh, tries to catch me off guard. Um, the good Lord says that his people perish for lack of knowledge. So um, you have to apply the word in your life and you have to confess it uh, over your life. And you have to believe and receive the word um, that you're confessing. So um, God provides for his children. So I just want to read some for you. We have Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by, Ch by Christ Jesus. Excuse me. And we have Matthew chapter 6, verse 31 through 32. Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. God already knows the things that we need. Um, and, and he will provide them for us. Um, Matthew chapter 7 verse 11. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Um, so, you know, if we're born in sin, of course, and, and we have natural fleshly desires, and even we love our children enough to give them good things when they ask us. Um, so, you know, if we ask our father to give us something that we need, you know, how much more would he give to us is basically what it's saying that, um, you know, he is wonderful. He is almighty. He is perfect. He is good and pure. Um, so he will make sure that we have the things that we need. Um, not always the things that we want. Sometimes he will grant us the things that we want, but he will make sure that we always have what's needed for life in abundance here on earth. Um, so we have Luke chapter 12, verse 24. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn. And God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? So yet again, if he will feed the birds, he will feed you. Um and so we have Psalms 34, verse 10. The young lions do lack 
and suffer hunger, but they that seek, I'm so sorry, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. So anyone who seeks the Lord and seeks the kingdom and seeks God and has a strong relationship, excuse me, they will not have to want for any good thing. So you're not going to have to need or, or want for the things that are necessary. God knows what we need here on earth. He knows what we need to sustain life. And he will provide it for us. Psalms chapter 34 verse, or Psalms chapter 37 verse 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So, um, still making the point that you have to seek God and his righteousness and his kingdom first, and all things will be added to you. Um, so God has promises, uh, that he's made for us and he cannot lie. He does not lie. Um, so Romans chapter eight, verse 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. And we have John chapters or chapter 15, verse seven and eight. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so ye shall be my disciples. So, there's your scriptures for today. Uh, just make sure that you don't let the enemy play mind games with you. Don't let him get uh, in there and plant seeds of doubt for you. Um, I'm, I'm speaking from experience. Trust me, the good Lord will provide. And once you snap yourself back to reality and you speak this word over your life and you believe it and you receive it and, and you're seeking God first, you will see that God moves mountains. He provides things and he provides them abundantly. Not only will he provide what you need, but he'll provide a little more than what you need. Um, he will take care of you. He is a good, good father and he is a wonderful provider and he will provide what you need. Seek God first. <laughs> seek God first, get a relationship with Jesus, get in there and, and just hold on to him and he will hold on to you. He'll pull you right out of the bouts of hell. We have a supernatural God. We serve a supernatural God and he can do things that other gods cannot. He is the one. He is the only. He is the alpha. He is the omega. He is the most high and he will provide for his children. Um, and there we have it. Um, Heavenly Father, I ask that you please allow this word to go out over all of your children, dear Lord, that you feel like needs to hear this word. And I ask that it opens their hearts and souls and their minds to believe and receive it, dear Lord, and allow them to be changed forever for the good and help it strengthen their relationship with you and help grow their faith. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right. Well, you guys have a lovely rest of your night. Um, don't forget that God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I love you too. Stay blessed.